Are you suffering from the loss of a love? Would you like that loved one to return to you? Then let's invoke two goddesses who very much understand the situation. These are both the patronesses of lost loves returning. Both Ishtar and Isis lost their soulmates and were able to draw them again to them. There were no boundaries to their love. Even death could not separate them from their loves. And so, with this invocation, you will ask those goddesses to return your love to you. Over the last 40 years, many of my clients have found this invocation to be very effective. It works on sympathetic magic. Sympathetic magic means that we are going to use correspondences to these goddesses to draw their attention to you, to make sure the energy flows your way. Obviously, if you can get a picture of Ishtar and Isis, fantastic, or an image is even better. Rose quartz is sacred to both of them, and seashells are sacred to them as well. You will also need a photo of your lost love, preferably of the two of you together. Once you've gathered all of these together with a red candle, wait for a Friday evening and then say this invocation seven times. Let me show you how. It's very easy and it can be very effective for you. Okay, let's try it. find all of the instructions in my little book, Quick, Useful and Effective Spells for the Seven Most Wished For Things. Ishtar, Isis, hear my cry, without true love my soul shall die. Ishtar, Isis, hear my cry, without true love my soul shall die. Ishtar, Isis, hear my cry, without true love my soul shall die. Ishtar, Isis, hear my cry, without true love my soul should die. Ishtar, Isis, hear my cry, without true love my soul shall die. Ishtar, Isis, hear my cry, without true love my soul shall die. Ishtar, Isis, hear my cry, without true love my soul shall die. Bring him back to me. So mode of thee. The next morning, when the candle has burnt down completely, when I do my magical workings, I use my bowling. I have a sacred knife, a hand forged for me by a blacksmith and inscribed with runes. So if I do have to use metal on something, I make sure it's consecrated metal. We are going to write their name. I will hit the tip of my sacred blade right, on a candle and just inscribe the wax with his name. Now we're going to take this wax out and bury it under a large tree that will continue to grow and as the energy grows their thoughts about you will grow more and they will come back to you. Plant it beneath a strong and vigorously growing tree and make sure if there's any resentment at all <laughs> you use this as a gestalt kind of therapy to get out the last of the resentment. Going to put that in there and plant something over the top of it that's going to grow vigorously. So to add to the symbolism I'm going to plant berries over the top of it. So this is 
is a brambling berry, which means it will entwine. So you want to make sure that it grows nice and strong. Put in some good organic compost in there. And there's my berry going in. Looking quite healthy actually for a berry. As healthy as a berry can be. What I've done is I've actually bought two berries, slightly different kinds they can entwine around each other and towards each other and grow together which is what you want to happen you want the relationship to grow back together so nice organic compost in there so they're going to grow nice and strong right beside the irrigation so that there's plenty of water and nourishment so what we're doing is adding to the symbolism, add, adding to the sympathetic magic by adding these symbols to it. So two berries representing the two people in a relationship growing back towards each other. Lots of mulch around it to keep the moisture in. tenderly with your love this should grow into a lovely arch with the two berries growing towards each other and hopefully by the spring this will have borne fruit let me know in the comments if you'd like to see how this grows in the spring But as the plants grow, grow back towards each other. And the two lovers should be united. They should come back to you. Practical magic. You can find all of the instructions in my little book, Quick, Useful and Effective Spells for the Seven Most Wished For Things. enjoyed this video and you like the idea of making magic readily available to people in their lives for free, then perhaps you may consider supporting my work by a one-time donation or becoming a member of our Patreon community. Your support will make it possible for me to do more of this work and get that knowledge out to the public. Our Patreon members have a unique community where they can share their knowledge and wisdom. But also we will have exclusive content over there for you as well. But if you're even considering supporting us, you have my deepest and sincerest thanks. Every blessing to you.